urbanization and effects of climate change have resulted in severe threat to urban environment affecting both population health and ecosystem functions. One of the key research themes of geographers here at the university is a spatially focused management of risks related to climate change and to other hydrometeorological extremes. Creating a functional network, urban greenery and urban waters represents a widely acknowledged approach to mitigate urban hilt islands. The approaches explored by our team also became known as water-sensitive urban design, spawn cities, sustainable urban drainage systems or nature-based solutions. Our research primarily focuses on filling the fundamental lack of separative data and procedures that would help planning authorities to decide about locations and character of interventions that may mitigate urban heat island, while also keeping in mind that such interventions should be socially inclusive. According to reports of the European Environmental Agency, heat waves compared with other extremes accounted for the highest social losses during the last decade. These losses also display significant variance due to environmental injustice. In our previous research, we explored the risk awareness and social perception of responsibility sharing for risk reduction and climate change adaptation among the Czech public and representatives of municipalities. Following this effort, we launched the project of applied research entitled Eco-Hydrological Management of Urban Landscape Microstructures. The aim of the project was to establish a detailed spatial dataset supporting urban planning and to develop and test the new methodology in two Czech cities, Ustina Adlamem and Plzeň. We applied a mixed method approach involving geoinformation methods and spatial modeling using remote sensed images and lidar data. Uh, and we also used field research and expert interviews. To ensure feasibility of the methodology in planning practice, only open access sources were used. First, the eco-hydrological elementary surface units were segmented and parameterized. Second, the chop statistical approach was used to aggregate these units to microstructures. For each of these microstructures, the biotope area factor, surface runoff, infiltration, evapotranspiration, and eco-hydrological quality of water streams was calculated and visualized in maps. Furthermore, we performed an analysis of limits in urban planning procedures regarding green and blue infrastructure, along with recommendations to overcome these limits. Currently, our efforts continue within the third projects that are funded by Czech Science Foundation, Technology Agency of the Czech Republic, and other international agencies. The research is primarily focused on land use conflicts generated by fragmented environmental and urban renewable policies in the realm of post-socialist planning culture, and on smart solutions in vulnerability assessments in urban and rural settings.